Hi guys, Ben from Snowy's here today with the Oz 10 RV5. Now this is the biggest and most popular tent in the RV range. And it's the only one you can realistically or comfortably fit two stretchers in. So it's used by touring couples, also really good for a family of four, two adults and two kids. It's gonna be squeezy for the five people that Oztent recommend it for. Weighs about 25 kilos, two meters in length, by 40 centimeters by 20. So you're gonna need a roof rack or a trailer to transport it. I'm gonna show you how to pay, set it up and pack it away today. I'll start with what's in the bag. So inside the durable synthetic carry bag that you get with the RV5, you've got the main tent, which is secured by a little strap here. You got two awning poles, a bag of pegs, the heavy duty pegs and a couple of guy ropes. And you get your instruction manual with some repair fabrics. I'm gonna put this stuff aside, unroll the tent and start to set it up. So as I pull this first bit of fabric out here, this is the floor. Whichever way this points is gonna be where our door is for the tent. We then fold out these two arms here. They're labeled A and B, this is B. B always folds out first, and it's always the last one we fold in when we pack it up. Once we've got the two arms folded out, if it was a windy day, I'd recommend putting a couple of pegs in place before we pull the tent up so that it doesn't end up in someone else's campsite. It's nice and calm here today. So I'll step in here and I'll grab this little Oz tent tab and pull the top of the tent up. So as I pull this up, I just want to make sure it raises evenly on both sides. And when I get to this top point here, I support it with one arm. I need to step inside and lock the poles into place. So while I'm supporting the top of the tent up here so it doesn't collapse backwards, I need to grab these poles, slide them up and invert them into place. I do that on the other side as well. So the tent's now freestanding, but before we step out, we need to lock the, or put these Velcro tabs around the frame. That just stops it from inverting too far. And one last thing we'll do before we step out of the tent is just to push these corners out so it's nice and taut across the front. So that's the frame of the tent in place. I just need to put pegs around the base now. Now there's a few extra peg points in the RV5 over and atop some of the smaller tents in the RV range. There is another one on the side here. We've also got four across the back here. It is important that we put these all in. Um, the corner ones obviously hold the tents in place, but these ones here actually pull this wall out a little bit and create more internal space. So we've got six more pegs to put in around the back. Now, if you're setting the tent up for long periods or particularly in windy weather, you'd always set the guy ropes up. There are four in total. There's two pockets, one on each corner at the back here, and you got one on each corner on the side here as well. So when you're setting it up for long periods, always put the guy ropes in place. One other thing I mentioned before we set the awning up is you might wonder what this zip is at the top here. Just to attach the fly sheet, it's an optional accessory. The fly sheet simply zips on there and it covers the back of the tent. Next thing's the awning. I've just grabbed what I need to set the awning up here. I've got a couple of tent pegs that I'll put into place. I've got my two guy ropes. I've just tied loops in the end here so they can go over the end of the spigots here and a couple of awning poles. We need to unroll this, undo these three tabs. The, the, the awning unfurl should always be rolled up like this for storage. Put our awning poles in place and guide them out. So that's the awning set up and extended to the full height of the 1.9 meter poles. There is an extra guy rack here that I could peg out to either stop this from flapping around, but there is a little stiffener bar in here, so it stops it flapping too much. If I was to peg that out and pull it down too, it also creates a bit of a runoff from water. Alternatively, I could drop one of these poles down so that the awning slopes and water could run off this way. I'll mention one other thing. There is an eyelet here in this awning. So we could essentially put those poles at this point here and slope it down at the front. These ideally are for taller poles, particularly those that come with the accessory kit, um, the peak side panels. It creates this peaked roof in here and you can actually enclose this wall with all of these zips and Velcro, good feature around the sides of the tent. So that is how you set up the Oztan RV5. Super easy, 30 odd seconds for this part here, a little bit longer to get all the awnings set up, but I did it by myself and it was only really a few minutes work. And set up, uh, pack down is just as easy. I'm gonna start by pulling the awning down. So before we go any further, we need to roll the awning up. We can only pack the tents away with the awning rolled up. We don't wanna leave it unrolled. Once I've done this, I can go around and pull all the pegs out around the base. The last thing we want to do at the back of the tent here is push this fabric 
inside the tent so that it's inside the frame. It's gonna make packing up or, or flattening down of the tent a whole lot easier. So I push that inside, I can feel the frame on the edge here. So I've just grabbed my poles and my pegs and my bag and I've put them at the back of the tent. They're ready to be rolled into once we've flattened it down. Because the next thing we need to do is hold the top of this, reverse the poles inside and the tent's gonna lay flat again. So now we just need to make sure while we're collapsing those poles that we keep hold of the top of the tent here or our little Oz tent tag here to, to stop it from collapsing on top of us. You can see the importance now in leaving these doors open too so we've got somewhere to stand while the tent collapses down. Now as I drop this, I'm just gonna make sure it goes down nice and evenly so the frame doesn't twist. And as I go, I'm gonna pull this fabric inside the tent here so when it lays down, it's all nice and neat. So now I've got it all flat, we need to fold the arms in. We start with A and then fold B. We're then left with this little triangular fabric that goes up over the top. Then we grab our strap and secure it all into place. Now we just put it all back in the bag. That's the RV5 packed away back in its bag. Pretty easily done with one person. It's always going to be easier with two. You can grab these at snowies.com.au. Lowest prices every day. And we deliver free to just about anywhere in Australia. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.